welcome to Stories Podcast. I'm your host, Amanda Weldon. Today's story is called Hornet Honey, an adaptation of a classic fable written for you by Daniel Hines. Thanks. Enjoy the episode. Hornet Honey Once upon a time, an old hornet named Kemba was buzzing around a field. He was a solitary sort, which means he lived all alone, but he liked it that way. Kemba spent his days flying around, looking for delicious things to eat, and settling arguments among the other bugs. So he wasn't at all surprised when a strange pair buzzed up to him, panting and arguing. Wonder what has their wings in a twist, he asked himself, and then landed on a little log so they could chat. The pair, a bee and a wasp, buzzed right down in front of him, still arguing. It's our honey, the bee said. Kemba, they're trying to steal our honey. No way, said the wasp. It's our honey. These thieving bees are trying to take it all for themselves. Calm down now, calm down, Kemba said. Where is all this honey exactly? It's in an old tree. We left it there for winter, said the bee. No, we left it there for winter. We make so much honey, you have no idea, said the wasp. Hmm, said Kemba. I've never heard of wasps making honey. And of course, wasps couldn't make honey. But these wasps were cunning and good liars to boot. Well. We do make it, said the wasp. It's the best honey. We made this honey, and it's ours. All right, then, the old hornet grumbled. Let's go take a look. Together, the three of them buzzed back to an old tree that stood crookedly in the middle of the field. The ground was littered with crisp yellow, orange, and red leaves that had dropped for fall, but the tree's branches were full. On one side, it was bustling with buzzing bees. On the other side, it was wildly woven with wasps. They were shouting back and forth at each other with insults like bumblebutt and sting-a-ding-dong in heavy rotation. All right, all right, enough of that, said Kemba, settling his old hornet wings down in the center of the tree. I hear there's an argument over some honey. That's right, oh wise one, said the queen bee. These wasps are trying to steal from us. We worked hard to make all that honey, and then we went out exploring and we came back to them trying to claim the tree. As if, said the queen wasp, we worked our stingers off making all this honey, and now these bees are trying to take it from us. Kemba looked at both sides and then flew over to the large hole in the trunk of the tree. Inside, there were many thick honeycombs, all dripping with golden yellow sweetness. Well, I can see why you both want the tree, but only one of you could be telling the truth. It's us, said the bees. It's us, said the wasps. Enough, said Kemba. Clearly, I can't believe either of you. I'm going to have to find some witnesses. Everyone, wait right here. The old hornet buzzed off, leaving the bees and wasps to glare at each other from either side of the tree. They shouted back and forth and might have started fighting, but just then Kemba came back, a hummingbird flitting just behind him. I've brought a witness, he said. Please, my good lady, introduce yourself. The hummingbird bobbed forward, her wings a blur. She was a pretty little thing, with feathers colored like blue and green jewels shining in the sun. Hello, hello, hello. Wow, this is a lot of bees and a lot of wasps. Wow, 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 wow. (laughs) I've never seen so many bees and wasps. What's all the buzz about? Get it? 
buzz. <laughs> Sorry if I talk a little fast. My mom says I should slow down, but she talks even faster than I do. But she says do as I say, not like I say, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's just a little joke for you all. Anyway, you all wanted to know about the honey? The bees and wasps took a second to process the hummingbird's speedy patter, and then the queen stepped forward. Hummingbird, said the queen bee. We built this hive for months. Surely you remember. We shared from the same flowers. Yes, 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 of course you do look familiar. I totally remember a bunch of yellow and black stripy little guys sipping flowers and making honey. Who even shared some of the honey. Oh, 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 honey is so good. You all must love it, though, seeing as how you make it. I wanted to learn how to make it, but my mom said that hummingbirds don't make honey. I asked her if any had ever tried, and... So you saw the bees? interrupted Kemba. Well, that settles it. No way, said the queen wasp. She said she saw black and yellow stripy little guys. That's us, too. We are just as black and yellow as the bees. Oh, 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 I guess you are, said the hummingbird. Sorry, I guess it could have been either one of you. Oh, that's okay, Kemba sighed. Thank you anyway. Oh, 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 no problem. Help and help alike. That's what my dad always said. He was a big guy. Well, big for a hummingbird, but he never bullied anyone. He was a gentle giant hummingbird, you know. <laughs> she flew off, still talking at a rapid pace to no one in particular. The bees and wasps started to buzz angrily again, so Kemba buzzed in between them once more. I have another witness coming. He was just a little slower than the bird. Ah, there he is now. A little ant was making his way up the tree like a determined soldier. Ten hut, he piped in his little voice. Private ant reporting for duty, sir. At ease, at ease, said Kemba. Is there a battle, sir? Is it the grasshopper, sir? I'm always ready for a battle, sir. No, 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 no battle today, said the old hornet. I just need your memory. You said you were collecting honey from this tree to bring back to the anthill? Sir, yes, sir. Well, I can give you another little bit if you can tell me who was making the honey at the time. Ant, you must remember us, said the queen bee. We were making the honey and shared a little piece with you. It couldn't have been more than a week ago. Right enough, said the little ant. I remember you were all black and yellow stripy little guys, and then you buzzed awful loud when you flew. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, now, just wait a minute, said the queen wasp. That's us, too. You know we're black and yellow, but we also buzz when we fly. The ant looked back and forth from the bees to the wasps. Honestly, sir, I don't see that well, and I can't tell the difference. He looked at Kemba and shook his head. Sorry to let you down, sir. That's quite all right, soldier, said the old hornet. Here's a bit of honey. Return on home now. You're relieved. Sir, yes, sir, the ant said and made his long way back down the tree. Now what? shouted the queen bee. This is ridiculous. We make the honey. Wasps just steal and sting and sting and steal. How dare you? said the queen wasp. Honorable Hornet, do you hear this slander? Oh, I'll slander your wings right off, Missy. Come and try it. They started to buzz angrily, and Kemba had to shout them back down. Quiet, 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 he bellowed. I have a final witness. She should be here in a moment, and I'm sure she will be able to shed some light on the situation. Look, here she comes. From the top of the spindly tree came a tubby red squirrel. She was fat for the coming winter, and the branch she sat on bowed under her belly. Oh, hi, everyone, she said. What's the case, Kemba? The bees say they make the honey, but the wasps claim it is theirs, said the old hornet. I know you gathered acorns from this tree, did you happen to see which of these groups is telling the truth? Squirrel, said the queen bee. You must remember us. 
You tried to store some nuts in our hive, and you got a few warning stings for your trouble. Oh, that's true. Not an easy day to forget, the squirrel said, rubbing her haunch with the memory. Sorry for barging in, by the way. I didn't realize it was your house. Well, that's okay. Sorry for the stings. So, you're sure? asked Kemba. Yup. <laughs> I remember these yellow and black stripy guys. They buzzed when they flew, and they had stingers. The bees definitely fit the bill. <laughs> Ahem, said the queen wasp. What about us? We are also yellow and black, and we buzz, and look at our stingers. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it could have been you. But wasps don't even make honey, the queen bee exploded. This is ridiculous. Kemba sighed and nodded at the squirrel, who scurried back up her tree, looking for more acorns to stash for winter. We do make honey, and we made this honey, so get lost, said the queen wasp. The two sides both buzzed into the air, two angry clouds that swarmed and swooped and would soon start a deadly brawl. For a moment, Kemba thought he had lost them, but then he was struck by an idea. Wait, wait, he bellowed brandishing his own larger stinger at the two warring clouds. The queens got their troops settled back down onto the branches and let Kemba continue. Thank you. Now, the queen bee raises an interesting point. Whoever made this honey should be able to make more honey. But the bees say the wasps can't make any honey at all. Of course they can't, said the queen bee. Easy, we can, said the queen wasp. But this honey is ours, so make them go somewhere else and make their own. Well, if you say it's easy, said Kemba, then, witnesses aside, this should be quick enough to test. Make me a little honey right now. If you can do that, then clearly the queen bee is a liar and this honey is yours. Make you... <laughs> Wait, said the queen wasp. You want us to make honey right now? That is my ruling, Kemba said. But that's not fair. We can't. Oh, asked the queen bee. You just said you could make honey easy. Well, there's... Uh, there's no flowers. I saw some goldenrod on the way over, said Kemba. Should I take you to it? The queen wasp scowled and then sagged. She realized that she had been outsmarted. She turned to the other wasps and waved a wing. Come on, she said. These lousy bees probably make bad honey anyway. Let's go find a dumpster and get the good human stuff. She took off and the wasps all followed in an angry cloud. Thanks for that said the queen bee. Come on in and have all the honey you want. Oh, that's very kind of you, said Kemba. Are you sure? Of course I am, said the queen with a smile. After all, we can always make more. The End Thanks for listening.